Governments, as a general rule, should emphasize the pursuit of non-violent and minor offenders while directing enforcement resources strategically towards the most disrupt disrupted and violent elements of the trafficking. Cesar Gaviria, the former president of Colombia, also spoke on Tuesday in New York. What we are trying to do now is exactly to recognize that we will not, we will not live in a world free of drugs and that we should move to a control of the drug markets by regulation instead of this idealistic and uh, uh, pro pro idea that we should... Uh Louise Arbor, the former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, also condemned the war on drugs. It is a model, the model that we've embraced for the past 50 years, that is now uh, demonstrably uh, ineffective, inefficient, costly, and by cost, I don't mean only financial cost, catastrophic human cost that delivers nothing on a uh, promise that was a ridiculous one to make in the first place. It's this major development, largest U.S. city yet to decriminalize pot. It looks like October 20th may be the big day in Philadelphia. Talk about the significance of this. Well, the, I mean, on the one hand, one has to say there's decriminalization and there's decriminalization. There's decriminalization, which results in marijuana being treated simply as a $25 ticket or a traffic fine. And then there's what happened in New York and other states back in the 70s when we decriminalized marijuana, arrests initially dropped, and then somehow the police, the NYPD in this case, or other police, found ways to keep arresting mostly young men of color for having some marijuana in their pocket. I think this latest wave of decriminalizations are much further the reaching. People understand what went wrong before. And I'll tell you, in New Mexico, it's a very important move. Some of these others are very important as well. Uh, in D.C., the decriminalization law that passed just a few months ago, uh, that was probably the furthest reaching of ever. Now the cops can't even say, oh, I smelled marijuana on him, and that's why I started searching him and arresting him. So we're really moving that direction. And D.C., in fact, will have a ballot initiative this November that will be a quasi-legalization initiative and hopefully set up for the city council to fully tax and regulate marijuana next year. And Dr. Michelle Kazachkin, let's turn to this report. You're a member of the Global Commission on Drug Policy. Could you talk about the key recommendations of the report and how they differ uh, from uh, policies for drug control in the past? Well, they're radically different. Uh, the policies in the past have been based on a prohibition paradigm. As Cesar Gaviria was saying in the short piece you you, you were showing, um, there was a dream or an unrealistic goal of drug policies of a drug-free world. And that could be achieved by just prohibiting drugs, prohibiting production, sale, distribution, consumption. Uh, that paradigm has failed. That's what we have been saying since our first report in 2011. So we're talking about a new paradigm, and that is that uh, we advocate for policies that are not based on repression and prohibition, but policies that are based on health, promotion of human rights, and more humane policies. And that implies, first, to prioritize health. Drugs is about health, we say, not about policing. Um, and, and that's not just a rhetoric sentence. This is about shifting resources that are currently going into totally ineffective repression into promotion of health and social interventions of proven efficacy. Then it's about decriminalizing. It's about shifting the repressive efforts from targeting small dealers, uh, vendors, farmers, onto the big fishes that are currently escaping the system. And finally, and this is a very sensitive and a new um, somehow advocacy point of our commission, we're saying ultimately one day we will have to renegotiate the international drug control regime, that is the international treaties that were agreed like 60 years ago, because we advocate for legal regulation of drugs. And in order for that to come one day, we'll have to renegotiate those treaties. <music>